What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Sid here with a new episode of Unboxing. Uh, today we've got a special treat. Um, I just picked up a box set collection of Legend of Zelda strategy guides. They're all hardcover, and I am so excited. They just arrived probably 20 minutes ago, so I'm a big Legend of Zelda fan. Um, ever since I was a kid, I don't know what it is about the series, but it's probably one of my favorite series, no matter how repetitive the storyline is, how repetitive the, you know the gameplay or puzzles are. It's just it'll always be a classic to me. Um, let me go and grab my package. So, this thing cost me about 130 bucks. Um, about 140 by time shipping and ta or shipping handling was all figured into it. If I had been from the states, I probably could have got this thing for 30 dollars cheaper. But I'm not from the states, and if I had ordered from the states at you know the states prices, it probably would have cost me you know 167. On Amazon right now for you Americans, this is going for 107 and some change plus your shipping and handling. For Canadians, the cheapest price I've seen it on Amazon was 129 plus taxes plus shipping and handling. So for Canadians, it's about 140 total. Awesome deal. Uh, I will get into this. And we will take a look and see what exactly this package consists of. Um, it is pretty hefty. I will say right now it weighs a good 20 pounds at least. I think the I think oh it's 21.98 pounds, so say 22 pounds. Uh, all right, let's get into this. Okay, so we got our trusty flashlight knife. I want to be very careful while opening this because I don't want to ruin the package. Or yeah, ruin. The Things on the inside. Uh, I have heard horror stories about this thing being damaged out of the box through Amazon, so fingers crossed that I got a nice crispy model. So we got rid of some paper. As you can see, this is the a brilliant, amazing thing. Oh, I already see a little bit of damage, maybe. I won't know until I get out of the package, and I will open this. As you can see, it's in the shape of a Zelda chest. Do do do. Can I zoom that in a little bit? There you go. So we got a Zelda-looking chest right here, and move back. It doesn't look like real wood. I will say that now. Uh, It's a little bit plasticky looking. Actually, it feels like it might be a metal chest. I don't know. Let's pop her out. Ah, okay. Let's see if I can rearrange that to give it a better. Let's see, I'm trying to get it proper for you guys. I'm not used to using a camera like this. So, it is in plastic. First things first, we might as well bring this over. I'll bring the camera over so you guys can actually get a good view. I really, really like this uh, new camera. It's, it's so awesome. Get everything proper. So the package itself, uh, you know what? Hold on, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get this proper for you guys. So you guys can see a little bit. So it comes with not one, not two, but six uh, Prima strategy guides are all hard covered. Um, also in the package, I don't know if you can actually see that, so I'll bring that up a little bit. That is a gold plated bookmark. Uh, the package says it's a high quality two sided laser etched metallic bookmark is included to help players keep their spot in over 2,000 pages of Legend of Zelda strategies, which is a okay by me. Of course, we have the guides are connected in the high quality box that is the Legend of Zelda themed and held closed by an embedded magnetic clasp. So it is, I guess, magnetic. Um, it also comes with a certificate of authenticity. Um, I won't know what number I got until I actually open it up and look at it. So without further ado, let's do that. And yes, I probably shouldn't open this because I am kind of a collector. I do have some other Zelda stuff that's still in the package. Um, speaking of Zelda, you know what? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. 
I have no idea what she did with them. Aha, uh -huh, they're there. I decided for this joyous occasion, I'm going to bring over... Of course. Yeah, that's right. Zelda. And our fantastic Link. I just got those for uh, during the Christmas season to go with my new Super Smash Brothers. Um, I will say with the new Super Smash Brothers, I don't know what they did or who was doing the thinking, but whoever improved fighting with Link, you're a genius. Okay. I'm very, very careful. I don't want to ruin this. I'm trying not to get any scratches in the paint. Oh, shit, here it goes. It's going. Let me, can I zoom that back out? There we go. That's probably better, right, guys? Okay. Oh, that's actually... Nope, I think that's, um... Painted cardboard. It would have been cool as a metal or plastic chest, but it feels like it's more of a cardboard. Oh, there is a crack in the bottom already, a pressure crack. That's okay, I will make do. So, this of course comes off. I will keep that with the package just to have the whole set all together. Okay. So, uh, here's the moment of truth. We're going to slowly open it. Oh, it is met metallic. Oh, magnetic, see, that, that's kind of cool. Nice, I like that. So let's open her up. Oh, it's coming. Oh, oh so nice. So nice. So there is two pieces of paper. We've got just a sheet to separate the seal, uh, the certificate, and the books. Um, as you can see, the uh, bookmark is taped up to the top, or glued up to the top, I guess. Um, I'm going to take it out carefully because I'm going to leave that in there. As it, or is that Velcro? No, it's glued. I'm going to leave that up there in the top, and I'll just take this out and try not to get any fingerprints on it. So as you can see, oh man, that is fantastic. And it's got a nice golden shine, and on the back, of course, you've got the Hyrule symbol. Got Triforce up top. Very, very nicely designed. Hey, and you can see, it's so shiny, you can see everything on the top of my desk. I really like that. Again, there's the logo, Legend of Zelda. So that is amazing. So let's put that back in the uh, plastic. Come on now. Very, very cool. Okay, so now we have the books. It looks like there's a little strap to try to keep everything together, which is kind of nice. Oh no, it's to help lift the books out. Brilliant, brilliant design. I like that. So let's start. We got first manual is the Wind Waker. Oh, they're definitely not in order, that's for sure. Um, it's starting with the Wind Waker, then goes Skyward Sword. Then it goes Ocarina of Time, Spirit Tracks, Twilight Princess, and Phantom Hourglass. I am very surprised. Actually, before I even open that, I want to check the seal and see what edition I got. So it comes in a very, very nice, fancy little envelope. Very nice and smooth. So I've, I'm way back at the towards the end. I've got number... 47,000, oh, can you see that? 47,171, which is kind of cool. Um, it's signed by Eiji Aonuma. I can't pronounce that because I am the whitest white guy you'll ever see. That's right. Okay, so I guess it's all written in Japanese, which is kind of cool. You got the message up here, you got the uh, 
Hyrule symbol in the background. Um, it says, it has been 25 years since The Legend of Zelda was introduced into the world, and it's still going strong. This was made possible by fans who love the series. In the next installment, it is my desire to create a unique experience that is beyond your expectations. We are privileged to have your unwavering support. Um, yeah, I would say support big time, considering this cost me like 140 bucks. Not really happy with spending that amount of money. However, great investment. Um, and it kind of cool. It kind of coincides with... So it's talking about 25 years, which really coincides with the Hyrule Historia, which I just got for Christmas myself. Um, another book that I will be collecting. I'm the reason what actually made me get these is because once I got this, I decided I wanted the hardcover edition of the Skyward Sword. I didn't realize they made a hardcover edition of all this, and. Um, so when I ordered, or when I went on Amazon to look for the Skyward Sword, which was this guy here, it showed me this set, and I just, I had to have it. So, let's get to that. Wow, that's uh, very fancy. So, as you can see, the pages are gilded on the edges in gold. Very, very fancy. That is actually really cool. The actual book itself is nice hardcover. It's also gold symbols on it um, that looks like wind up in the top corner I'm guessing for the Wind Waker that or they're all like that I don't know I will start noticing when I see them up but that is the uh, book so far and you see there are high high gloss high quality pages um, let me see if I can oh don't hit I almost hit the uh, wrong button there that would have been stupid Okay, so let's just see. The pages are sticking a little bit. Oh, wow. So you can kind of see that, that you know, it is, it's a strategy guide. It's the old Prima strategy guide. It's just now in hardcover. They even got a new legendary checklist for the Wind Waker, which is awesome. So that's the Wind Waker. Let me move this out back a little bit. And I'll move that there. Okay, so let's try the Skyward Sword. This is the game that I'm currently playing right now. Um, I didn't get very far in it. Of course, it has a different design now on it. It's got the old school, old style, way back before, you know, all the new games. Or all the old games, I should say. So it's got a very simple design. Kind of like, you know, how a game, a first in the series should be. As you can hear, I don't know if you can hear it, but... Everything like it's really, it's really stiff. Oh dang! I I almost don't want to open them because, you know, what I'm saying like, it starts spreading the pages after a while. Okay, next, Ocarina of Time. This is probably my favorite game of all time. Um, I, I I was born in '85. I played the original Zelda. I played Zelda two. Um, I played the old Game Boy, uh, Link's Awakening. I've played Super Nintendo, and I really I love, I love those games. My even my mom, who you know, isn't really a big game player these days, played The Legend of Zelda and she beat the game. Like watching her play was probably the best thing about the series. It wasn't until the N64 days that I went back to Legend of Zelda games and I really got back into it. Um, Ocarina of Time, I've probably beat, I want to say no no less than 15 times. So I mean, you know, it tells you how much I really like this game. It's a, it's a very, it's a game that really stands out in my childhood. But as you can see, it's purple. One thing that makes me sad about this is there's no Majora's Mask. Um, I really think they could have cut out Phantom Hourglass and gave us Majora's Mask, but it is what it is, right? So for the Ocarina of Time, we have the Ocarina up in the corner. We have. The little uh, harp in actually I guess they're in opposite chords. So there's a harp there, harp there, ocarina, ocarina, which is very very neat. Now I used to own the old the first uh, strategy guide. And I'm not sure if I had the Brady Games one or the Prima one, but I'm about to find out right now. Oh, this is Ocarina of Time 3D. 
3D Collector's Edition. Interesting. However, I don't see it being any really different. Oh. They actually have a thing for the Master Quest in here as well. Um, looking at this right now, it is pretty much the uh, same thing that I've had. This is pretty damn similar to the one I used to have before then. No, it isn't. This is all new. Okay, so this is really cool. Um, this is really awesome. So it's got some really great pictures, great quality. Um, I will probably go back and play Ocarina of Time now. Ocarina, Ocarina. Yes, I say things weird. Bite me. So next we got Spear Tracks. Of course, looks like, you know, little train tracks going around. Triforce shaped train tracks. Same deal. It's gold. Very nice, very nice layout. I really like this. Oops, I want to go back. Of course, there is a master checklist. Very, very nice. It's even got some really cool artwork in it. So I'm just making sure that the books are all pristine condition, right? This one looks like it's got a little extra glue on the binding, which I guess that's okay. That's the way it came, it was the way it's made. Uh, I want to take a Phantom Hourglass first. So, Phantom Hourglass, and of course it's got it, the gold, I'm pretty sure it's probably the dark blue, but the gold doesn't quite stand out. It looks more like a brownish bronze. Um, as you can see, a little bit different design on the side. Which coincides with the little cartoony feel. Is that still zoomed in or did I zoom it out? Nope, oh, okay. And I've never played this game. I'm pretty sure this is the one for the DS, right? I don't know. You Zelda fans can tell me. Um, I will probably... Oh, it's even got a history of the games. That's cool. Eventually I plan on getting a... DS or 3DS or whatever and playing all these Zelda games because it's the only ones I don't have. Um, this one here, okay, as much Twilight Princess, again, it's got the cool different logos on the side. And very, very intricate patterns. You got your, you know, gold pages and of course, bam. Uh, this book is actually thicker than the other ones. Um, let's see if I can show you comparison. It's definitely a lot thicker, which is kind of cool. Uh, this is the next game I'm playing. I'm actually currently playing Skyward Sword. I've almost beat it. I had to take a break because I've got so much other stuff going on, on the go. Uh, Twilight Princess was one I started to get into, and then that was pretty much it. So I want to actually beat this. Um, very, very... There's a lot to this game, I guess. I think... Twilight Princess is technically the last non-cartoony looking Zelda. Skyward Sword is a mixture between the realistic Zelda and cartoony. As you can see, uh, the gold on this, again, it looks more like a brown bronze, so maybe they change it up depending on the book. That would be it. That is the Legend of Zelda collector set. Uh, I want to put that back in there properly. Okay. So let's do that with the first book in the series. Now, the big question is, is it worth the money? Um, for any hardcore collector, I would say yes. Yes it is, go blow your friggin' savings, go buy it. Uh, it's an amazing, amazing little collection. I am, I was kind of having buyer's remorse when it was on its way. And then, now that it's here, I really, really, really like that. Really like it a lot. Um, I want to put... I don't know the correct order of the games right now. I have to. I still have to read the Hyrule Historia. I mean, I know the basic... Um, oh, did I put Wind Waker in there first? I did. I did, I did, I did. Okay. That's perfect. Do 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 do
But uh, yeah, um, I know the I I know the basic gist of them. It's just when it gets to the cartoony games, I'm not sure how they're supposed to go. Pretty sure it goes. Wind Waker, Spirit Tracks, and Phantom Hourglass. I'm pretty sure it goes Wind Waker first. Wind Waker. They're a very, very nice little collection. Very nice little collection. So I'm going to put Spirit Tracks, I guess, and probably Phantom Hourglass last. That's the only way I can think of it. Again, it's a, it's a bummer that they don't have the hardcover Majora's Mask, um, but still. Let's turn this around if I can. Do, 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 do. Uh, lower this a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Almost perfect. Oop. Gotta be careful, right? I don't wanna break anything. Yeah, I even wore a Zella t-shirt for this. Because, I mean, come on, come on. Um, so yeah, there's a, that certificate, which I'm going to put away promptly. I don't want it to get ruined or creased or broken or anything. Um, so yeah, that, that's pretty much the collector set. It's an amazing little set. It was worth the money, as much as I hesitate to say that. Um, I probably won't ever spend that kind of money for a long time on something like that. I might still, but I mean, psh. which is cool because I, it, it's going to help start up my Zelda collection now. I've got, you know, the Hyrule Historia. I just got Zelda Monopoly. Um, I got a couple of the Amiibo figures here, which is a really cool gift. Got some clothing, and I got this now, and just oh, super, super exciting. Super exciting. Put that in there. Okay. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Um, there's definitely a, probably a few better unboxes out there. I just wanted to show this off to friends and family and mission accomplished. So with that ado, or with that in mind, I bid you guys adieu. Adios. See you later. And um, thanks for watching. Alright, later guys.